Hello everyone, with 23 hours and 15 minutes left, I only have 13 points left to get in the heroic upgrade for, of course, the Butch Pete Dunn. So once we do this, we are going to pro our double heroic Ronin Butch, the first double heroic of the Ronin series. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to have to buy one title belt. We're going to try and take on the Ronin Plus Plus Top Buns. Of course, you got zero wins because this is a bot, so I'm not sure. Can't guarantee them. I'm going to win this one, but we're going to try. So we start off with a male solo power charisma. Now, I do know that El Toro on the left here is my best one, but I'm going to need him for a tag match, so we're going to put in Big Bam Bam Bigelow. Now, unfortunately, he's going to lose to Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar got off his finisher and he's slightly stronger. And now the opponent has the overdress, or the overturn even, which is very, very irritating. But we're going to still try and win. So let's put in the MAGA. I think we've got a bit of a chance here. Yeah. Still. And then the last one, the opponent's got reversal, which reversal isn't anywhere near as bad. We do absolutely win this, even if he does reverse. Okay, now we have the overrun. So, power, we are going to, of course, take The Undertaker, who very easily beats Brock Lesnar, because, my goodness, that Undertaker is very powerful. And we've also been given Inspire as well. So, because we've got Inspire, I'm going to use the non-heroic Pete Dunne here, because he gets the power boost, which would allow him to beat that, and even with reversal, we still win. Uh, I think we're going to lose this one because this is not. Oh, well, we do have a chance here actually. Generally, the opponent uses pro runes for females. Uh, because this is speed and charisma, we're going to use the speed and charisma here. And we do easily win that match because we're against a WrestleMania 38. And we are now going 6 1. Remember, this is a plus 10 at the end of Road to Glory. This is against a Ronin plus plus team as well. So, Power and Toughness, we're going to use The Undertaker because he doesn't tag with anyone. We're going to lose that one. Uh, male tag team. So, we're going to save the Max Dupree because he's more powerful. We're going to keep him for a single match. This is also me explaining all my thought process and how to win these Road Glory matches. And there we go. We should easily win that one because we had the boost as well. Then round four, doesn't matter if we lose all four of these, we still win. So, power, we're going to use our big Kevin Owens, who even against Roman Reigns with his special doesn't get off, it's not good enough. We're going to put in the Code Rhodes because he doesn't tag. Still lose. And then, these films don't matter, our Renard Shyster. And then Dolph Ziggles. And through losing that match, we still win. We win 9-5. Which brings us up to... 287. We only need a plus 3 to win now. So let's get these 6 picks. Move that out of the way. We've been sniffling all day because of hay fever. And it sucks. It's getting into that time of year again where anyone with hay fever is going to be like this. And we don't even need the boost. Now this one is Ronin Plus. I'm going to go back out and go back in, see if we can get someone easier. And there we go, WrestleMania 38 Plus. This is ICP Sucks. So, we shall take on this one. Again, it's another bot because it's got zero wins. That's how you can tell. Well, that's one of the ways you can tell. So both of these tag. So we're going to use the stronger one. We're going to go for Torres, or Cruz del Toro even. What does Cruz del Toro mean? Del Toro means the bull. Cruz. The cruiser bull? Cruiserweight bull? Maybe? Don't know. Unsure. Spanish is not my forte. Didn't even need to use that power. And of course, Umaga beating John Cena, as he did many times in the old days. And then this is a tag team, which I've left two arrows that tag together. Easily win that match. There's a double heroic undertaker and an event fortified one Dolph Ziggler. Spring Fusion. Uh, tag team, 
Okay, so we'll use our up arrow and we're going to use this one, the double heroic Austin Theory. Which is an easy win. Tag team between these two should easily win that one as well. Once again, this is just picking your fights, you know I mean? If you're going to do a plus three, you don't need to take on Ronin plus, just go back until you find something easier. Uh, tag team, we have down and up arrow, so we use them. And that allows us to keep our Undertaker, the big Undertaker, the remastered version, as a single match, which easily wins. It's a very, very cool card. Very, very strong. I really, really like the Undertaker. Like, just as much for the image and also the fact that it's the Undertaker. It's numerous things. We're going 8 0 undefeated right now. This is the one that might lose us because I said. <laughs> Oh no, okay, we're still going 9 0. Okay. Um, power and Charisma will. We want to keep the down and up arrow just in case it's a tag match and try and go undefeated. A tag team of toughness. We should win that, regardless of what the opponent's got. Because that big Hell in the Cell Kevin Owens is very, very strong. And there we go. 10 0 undefeated. Perfect game. And plus 3. Brings us up to 290, which gives us that heroic upgrade. And there is our second heroic upgrade for the Ronin, Butch. And now, after we get our picks, of course, this is the slowest and worst part, but I want them out of the way so that I can start with a clean slate when I'm going to try and get the energy for Team Battleground, because we are in the Team Battleground, as you can see. Can dust those off, we don't need those. And now we want to edit the deck. Uh, we're going to take this butch out so that we can throw them. And if we go into Felter, there's all the most re uh, recent cards that I've got. That is, of course, a pro Nikki Ash, and we've got a brand new Ronan Nazca, which is very cool. I didn't lock down British Bulldog. Actually, British Bulldog, let's go for this image. Uh, you can't really see it. He's got, he's, he does have the, the British flag in the background, but you can't see it from there. So, combinable. Uh, let's remove this so that we can see exactly what he looks like. Uh, what decks are you still in? Remove from all. Oh, they're both in wild? Okay. So they are. Um, any card? Sure. I'm just, uh, put on Kevin Owens. So there we go. We can now combine them. So the, there, they both have the exact same stats. 37.43 in power. 37.89 in toughness, which is his strongest one. 37.72 in Charisma, which is the next strongest, and then 37.26 in Speed. Speed, generally, for a lot of these cards, tends to be the weakest one, but we are going to go with the original image, which is the brand new Butch, rather than the Halloween image of uh, Pete Dunne. And we're going to combine, and we're going to see how strong they become. And there we go, there is the first ever double heroic for Ronan, which is Butch, and oh... The eyes in the background open and close, that's pretty cool. You also have the shininess of the swords on the sides there. It is, it's quite a cool image. It doesn't have a lot of moving parts to it, but the parts that do, it's very cool indeed. And now we can train that, which we are going to train up our butch. Um, what do we have unlocked? Get rid of both of this. Those are not it. Already puts them up to level 65. What do we have in Road to Mania? Get rid of a couple of these. Level 80. Go try. Level 86. The Apollo Crazy I want to keep for fusions because it's already pro what can we get rid of from here? It's 
get rid of the brawn breaker. This one to 90. We still need 15 more, so we need something a little bit bigger. Let's go for Biggie. 95. I think two more is probably what we're looking for. Uh, let's get rid of Kane. And uh, Undertaker. No, Batista. 102. Okay, he's going to need one more. Let's get rid of Taker. And there we go, level 105, and there is his stats before he gets his 100 games in. So he's 46.89 in toughness, that's his strongest, followed by 46.68 in charisma. Then the next one is power at 46.32, and the weakest one is speed at 46.10. And if I'm right in thinking, that should be the strongest card we do have. Even without his 100 games. Undertaker doesn't have his 100 games yet either. But you can see that this is 46 million across the board. And this Undertaker is 42, put 42 million across the board apart from speed, of course. But it just goes to show the power that a double heroic does indeed have. So that is my top four there right now. So we've got an up arrow, left, two down arrows. The Hell and Cell, Kevin Owens helping quite a lot, of course. The fortified one, Max Dupree, is still very, very strong. And below that is a rank 380 WrestleMania 38, Cody Rhodes, as well. And then we get into the next heroic, or the next uh, pro for Ronin, not heroic, just regular pro, which is Cruz del Toro, and then the rank 562 Ezekiel. So there you go, that is the basis of these. Uh, actually, Bam Bam Bigelow is a lot weaker than Cruz del Toro for some reason. Not sure why that is. Bam Bam Bigelow was quite a big legend in his day, especially in WCW, so a bit weird that Chris Del Toro is getting the, the rub over him. Um, he's getting the push. But there you have our brand new butch, which is very, very powerful. So that is going to be it for this video folks. I really hope you all enjoyed and if you did give us a like, share and subscribe and if you are subscribed make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos come through and if you want to meet me on Supercard you can find me here at Solus. You can see I've already got 131 followers. It's very nice. I do on occasion get messages from you guys. I do try to reply to them but the best way to contact me is to join our Discord which you can find in the description below and you'll also have a chance of joining our team you can see we're only on 17 of 20 we've had a few people that we've had to either remove or a few people that have dropped out of the game so definitely well worth taking on um if you want to get this ring domination ronin um jinder mahal he said forgetting jinder mahal's name which is hilarious because he was once w champion so there we go very very cool i'm very pleased with pete dunn and that is it for this video folks so we will see you all in the next video goodbye everybody